he with me today, Tengu Jan Lei, and we call him Prince of Drift. He's a Formula Drift Asia champion for 2009 and 2010. Also, recently he achieved the second place in Formula Drift Qatar, and uh, he was the second in Epic Open Drift final. Hello, Tengu Jan. Hey. How are you today? Good, thank you. So, um, Recently, you took the second place in the FX Open League final. Is it a good result for you, or it's a bad result for you? Um, of course, I would love to have won first, you know, and take back the prize money of 100,000. But I think I did a great job during the weekend. Um, you know, he performed really well from the start, uh, kept his head together, and you know, went back with the win. So uh, it was a great job by him. I think second place is still uh, good, um, and. Yeah, I'm looking at improving my performance for this year. Okay, and uh, sorry for asking this question, but you know, in the recent half a year, you were second for uh, three times in a row. It was Apex Open Belarus, Qatar, and now in yeah. Kiel. And so, <laughs> what are you going to improve to, you know, to reach and become a champion? Finally, yeah. because we're waiting for this, you know? It's like where everybody says, right? Uh, second place is the first of the losers. <laughs> but, you know, again, you can't win everything. And um, I think uh, we've had our fair share of uh, problems uh, mechanically and, and, and whatever else. But um, I think we, we, we're doing a lot of uh, upgrades to the car. Um, not, not major changes, just setup changes. Uh, we did quite a major change before Formula Drift Malaysia that actually took down the performance of the vehicle. Uh, we understand it pre uh, pretty much better now. And, um, you know, it, it improved for FX Open. We know what we need to do to bring it up to uh, specs again. And uh, I think we should be good for this year. As for Belarus, uh, it was a new car for me. Uh, we were having a lot of issues throughout the whole week. We literally rebuilt the whole car throughout the, the whole week as uh, when we were there in uh, Belarus and didn't get much practice out of it except for the main event. So, um, you know, I think it was a great result in, in Belarus, um, uh, provided that, you know, we, we had all the issues which we had during the week. Um, but at the end of the day, I think second place is still good. Um, we tried our best uh, in every event which we went to. And uh, the key is learning from your mistakes. So um, we understand we, we are trying to improve ourselves for this year. Because uh, maybe not everybody know, but in Belarus you had the problem with the gearbox. Uh, yeah. It was running without second gear, yeah. If I'm not um, mistaken. We we slowly developed the third gear uh, problem with the synchro okay. mesh, and throughout the whole weekend, from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it just got worse and worse and worse uh, until the finals. And um, unfortunately, I missed the gear on um, acceleration at the start, uh, and that caused the win. So. And talking about Qatar, the, the Tanner Fast car was like twice more powerful than yours, yeah? We we got the invite for Qatar like one week before the event or I think about 10 days be before the event. Um, honestly, um, we almost didn't even make Qatar um, because of all the logistical issues that we had throughout the week. Uh, I'd like to thank my wife who <laughs> actually managed to get us there, you know, yeah, and yeah, as uh, usual, yes. yeah <laughs> without her I don't think I'll be anywhere. But anyway, um, Qatar was great, uh, but you know, our focus was for the FX uh, Drift Series, which was happening the week after. So what we did was we brought our second car, which, which is actually our practice car uh, for the Qatar event. And uh, you know, the, the whole idea was just to go out and have fun, have some practice um, together with the best in Formula Drift uh, USA and come back and compete in the FX round. And um, you know, the, week, the second place was a bonus. I was really happy with it. Um, tennis car was super fast throughout the whole weekend. And I'm um, just happy to be there and finishing second was, yeah, it was great. Ooh, but we remember your top four with us, but it was amazing. I think it will yeah. be in YouTube, the top views. <laughs> Yeah, Asbo, Asbo is great, you know, he had big angles, uh, good entry speeds and I knew, you know, to, to be able to, to try and keep up with him or, or even try and beat him was to go flat out and I was like flat out all the way and it's great to drive with drivers like that um, at that standard where, you know, you're not holding anything back, you're not worried about where he's going on the track and, you know, you can just drive your heart out 
and you are confident that you know you'll be able to or, or you know everyone will drive at the pace which they did. Uh, John, during the competition we had a few nervous moments, especially in the top 16, your first round you had three one more times. Uh, yes. Yeah. What happened? Um, okay, um, we've, we've got a really good car going. Um, we've done a lot of setup work in the past two years. Um, you know, we've got a lot of speed, it's got a lot of angle, a lot of traction. Um, but there's one thing which, which uh, we couldn't seem to sort out since is um, basically trying to keep up with the slower cars. And uh, honestly, you know, um, for, for whichever competition, whether it's Formula Drift or FX Open Series, uh, best 32, best 16 has always been my weakest point. It's because of the difference of speed. So, um, uh, in the best 16 for FX Drift, um, I was trying so hard to, you know, like slow down, but every time you slow down, you're almost at a standstill, and by the time we get on an accelerator, uh, we're actually faster than the car in front. Uh, it was pretty ridiculous. I was trying to pace myself, uh, you know, on the third one more time uh, on the chase run. Um, I kind of left a really huge gap and still caught up to him by the second corner, uh, which I think, you know, it's just out of mind. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, anyway, we, we're trying to make changes now. Um, we're trying, we understand what the level is um, between the 32 and to about top 8. Because by the time, every time, uh, whatever competition is, by the time we reach top 8, uh, we've got a good car and the competition gets, you know, very, uh, very close to, to the level uh, which uh, we are driving at. And um, so we've, we've come up with 